Good morning and welcome to today's video which is going to double a little bit as a pet pairing but also my demo and first impressions of a new like skin makeup type of product that I bought that I don't want to call a foundation uh, and I don't want to call a skin tint because I don't actually know exactly what it will be like for me. I've already applied my um, under eye concealer and my brows so I'm actually immediately going to proceed to my foundation type product but this is not a foundation type product and you've probably already seen from the title we're going to be talking today about a new product from Chanel this is the water fresh complexion touch which comes in this bottle now I want to make it clear this is not the original product that comes in this format because apparently Chanel has a water fresh tint that came out many years ago and it's already been fav a favorite of a lot of people. I bought this because I was enabled by the beautiful Martina Lili here on YouTube. I will leave a link to her channel below because I really just enjoy watching her apply makeup and chat and she does that quite often. She tries a lot of new makeup and she has a lot of good recommendations and honestly lately I've been quite enabled by her. So she enabled me to purchase this product. She has the older version of this so the original water fresh tint from Chanel which is basically a skin tint and tint is even like an exaggeration of what it really does it's just something that has like a hint of pigment in it but it's mostly like a primer I think she uses it actually as a primer now Chanel announced that they were going to expand the range of this product and they were going to um not reformulate it because I believe the older version is still going to be around but this new water fresh um, touch, water fresh complexion touch is going to be three times more pigmented and I think it comes in a wider range of colors. Now how did I get this you may wonder because apparently it hasn't really been released worldwide yet. I don't know how I was able to get it honestly. I just went on the uh, local beauty store website and I saw that it was available and I bought it. So for my Duchess and uh, I think my Belgies this was already available on Easy Paris. I don't know I don't think I saw it on Douglas so you will not find this on Douglas I think on Douglas they still only had the older version but on Easy Putty it was already online and all the shades were still in stock when I purchased this a few days ago I'm not at all familiar with the range of colors in like the Chanel beauty line because is this my first Chanel makeup product I think so I think this may be the first time I try anything from Chanel in terms of their makeup and I bought the shade B30 because I saw that uh, Tavia from Chic Profile used this shade and she is a relatively light skin tone. It, originally I had I think the shade B10 or B20 in my card and then I went to check what she uses and I saw that she uses the shade B30 and I thought oh gosh if she uses B30 I should probably not be using anything lighter than that. So I picked up the shade um, B30. So what is this supposed to be? So the way that Chanel described the product is a lightweight gel texture composed of approximately 60% water for a unique cooling sensation and as you will see it also like visually Usually looks very interesting because the like the, the the little like gel pigment particles are suspended in water and they look like little like balls like little microspheres which um, contain the pigment and the pigment will burst once you start buffing it into your skin so I cannot wait to try it FYI the product comes with this little um, dick shaped brush sorry that just begged to be made a joke out of it feels like a nice brush but it's super fucking tiny there's no fucking way I'm going to apply something on my face with this brush because I don't have 10 years to apply my makeup in terms of price this is quite pricey the original price of this is around 65 euros I was able to buy it for 49 because I got it on sale like Easy Putty had one of those like 25% off sales uh, like on everything and they usually include also um, their high-end makeup so I was able to get this for 49 euros and you are not getting a lot of product in here okay you're only getting 20 milliliters so without further ado I think I'm just going to uh, apply this I swatched it on the back of my hand yesterday and honestly I had the feeling that this was quite pigmented and you should also be aware of the fact that I don't wear full coverage on my face already for many many years. I'm the type of gal that applies a light layer of like light to um, uh, like sheer to medium coverage foundations. Think something like the Dior Backstage or the Essilor Double Wear Nude 
or the Pat McGrath Foundation. All of these are the types of foundations that I prefer, like this more lightweight, sheer texture, and I also apply them sheerly. I never really built these foundations up. My intention is to use this as a standalone product, so like a foundation type product, but I will see how it looks on the face and whether I feel like I need extra coverage here and there, and then I will go in with additional um, foundation. Hey, Mona J. However, at this point in time, I honestly am, a, I just intend to use this as a foundation. Also, I hope that you cannot hear the background noise. They're repairing something on the outside of our house today. They always just pick the most inconvenient days to do this. The last time they were here to do something was the day that I had to give a presentation, like an online presentation for the whole fucking department. They always pick the worst days to, to be here, honestly. Anyway, without further ado, I'm not going to waste any of my precious 20 milliliters to swatch on the back of my hand. We're immediately going to apply this on my face. So I'm going to squirt out like a droplet here on my hand just so you can see the texture. You can see it is liquid, but it holds its own. It hasn't started running yet. And I'm going to, I'm not actually sure whether I'm supposed to put this on my face and burst spheres that way or Let's see. Oh gosh, they're very loud. See. Okay, you see that it the, the spheres burst quite fast and it it does indeed have a very cooling sensation. It is so interesting. I've never experienced anything like this before. It does have a very cooling sensation. Once I applied the product on my skin, I felt like it was a little bit too dark. But now that I'm buffing it in, I think it actually works really well with my skin tone. And as you saw, one pump was enough for half of my face. So I'm going to put one more squirt out on the back of my hand and apply this on the other side of my face. And I'm just going to like build it up and take out as much product as I need. But I think you already get the idea that you're going to need quite a bit to cover your whole face. So you will go through this also relatively quickly. Wow, this applies beautifully on the skin and it immediately has like a very nice soft focus, like a little bit of a blurring effect. And I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't, I can't compare to the old product because I don't have it, but this is like more than enough coverage for me for my everyday type of life. I don't need more coverage. The shade B30 is perfect on me. It, it buffed into the skin beautifully. It looks really beautiful and natural. And so far, I am really, really, really enjoying this product. Let me zoom you in a little bit so you can see it a bit more up close and personal. It just buffed so beautifully into the skin. Obviously, like I said, it's a very like light coverage. It's almost lo not, like not even a light coverage, it's like a tint. But I think it covered like my sunspots really well uh, and not much more than my more like sheer foundations do. So for me, this is going to basically double as like a light coverage foundation. This is so nice that I almost don't want to apply any powder over top but I think I'm going to apply just a little bit of um, powder to see how it reacts with powder because I'm just very curious. And I'm going to take my Dior Backstage Powder, which is also like a more like luminous, natural, not mattifying type of powder because I actually don't want to lose that like luminous uh, glow that I have going on on my skin. So I'm just going to apply a light layer of that Dior Powder. A very light dusting. I don't usually powder here around my eyes. I hope I don't forget to come back in the end of the day to give you an update of how this wore throughout the day, but so far I am loving my base makeup, okay? This is something I can see myself using a lot instead of foundation. So, gorgeous product, gorgeous, I love it. I think I'm going with something a little bit like cooler-ish, well not really cool, but like I'm going for like a blue eye today and I think that might look really sweet together with the new Charlotte Tilbury Sunkiss bronzer in the shade Fair. So I'm going to take this and sculpt my cheekbones with that. Also we can just see how product applies over top of that Chanel skin tint product, but honestly I didn't really think that it would be an issue at all. 
So today's pet pairing is going to be a relatively simple look. I don't want to uh, take too long to do the makeup today because the guys outside are making like a crap ton of noise and I really hope you can't hear them. Also, okay, let's please talk about those new blush duos from Pat McGrath. So Charlotte already released her video and based on her swatches it really seems like Paradise Glow, the shade with like the terracotta brown sienna colors in it looks a lot like Paradise Venus from the original collection and another shade. And then I keep seeing everyone comment, by the way I'm going to take Nude Venus as my blush today, I keep seeing comments from people that somewhere on Instagram Pat's team confirmed that Paradise Glow is basically uh, old shades which are put together and the two shades are obviously Paradise Venus and Desert Orchid. I cannot for the life of me anywhere find that confirmation. I've like stalked basically the comment section of Pat's um, uh, Instagram, especially under like the blush release announcements and for the life of me I cannot find anywhere any confirmation that these are existing shades. If anything the only thing I can find is that they say no these are all six new shades which still doesn't mean that the new Paradise Glow shade doesn't contain a blush that is like 95% like Paradise Venus and 95% like Desert Orchid but I would really like to know if where people have found this confirmation. For my highlighter I'm going to take uh, just Golden Nectar. So if any of you know what anyone is referring to here, could you please let me know. I am a little bit annoyed if that turns out to be the case. They at the very least could have been transparent about which shades in those duos are re-promotes of other shades because I feel like that would have been at the very least helpful for people who don't want to purchase um, re-promotes. With that said, I was already planning on taking Paradise Venus and Desert Orchid on holidays with me in the summer. So now that I have the duo, obviously I saved myself like one blush. So at least there's that. I don't intend on at this point getting rid of it or reselling it uh, because I still really enjoy the idea of having these two blushes together. But I am like super fucking irritated that they are not more clear about what the fucking shades are. Okay, I'm going to spritz my little sponge here with Fix Plus just to melt all the powders together on my face as I usually do. Now the first shade I'm going to go into is going to be statuesque because we need something a little bit more neutral through the crease. I don't know whether you can see the amount of indentation I have. I actually think that I might need to get myself a backup of this shade. I was thinking yesterday in bed Maybe I don't need to buy a backup of this. I have like plenty of other things that I can bust out, but like I really don't. This is the most perfect, like more like neutral brown that I have in my collection. A lot of my other browns are either too orange, too camel, too warm, or they're too pink and too cool. This is just a perfect neutral brown. So I can foresee myself getting myself a backup of statuesque if I, if I hit pan on this, because I believe the Idols collection is pretty much being discontinued. It's been on sale for ages um, and I don't want to risk not having statuesque in my life so... Next I'm going to take my Nocturnal Nirvana Quad and we are going to bust out this shade that I can never remember the name of, Blitz Aquamarine. Blitz Aquamarine is clearly the beautiful like teal sea foam blue shade here. My favorite shade is 100% the green one, but you can tell that the shade I've used the most is actually the blue one. I use this shade a lot, especially in the summer. I love, there's something about the sheerness, but sparkliness and freshness and like just happy mood that this shade has that I cannot resist. So we're going in with this shade today as well. I'm going to take it and basically uh, apply it first dry all over my lid and blend it a little bit with statuesque. And with a brush this is going to apply quite sheer, so don't expect to see like miracles here with this shade applied dry. But we're going to go back and apply it over a glitter glue as well. I just want to, I prefer to blend things together when they are in their more dry form and then build up intensity afterwards. Alright, now I'm going to take my glitter glue, my departed super messy looking uh, NYX glitter glue, if you were wondering what exactly that is. And now I'm actually going to um, apply a bit of that over top of my lids and my inner corners. 
and especially here towards like the um, bottom of the lid and then I'm going to just use my finger go back into this shade and you will see BAM difference it just becomes so much more intense when you apply it like this over a glitter glue and with your fingers Next I'm going to go into my gorgeous Heatopian Dream Palette and we're going to take um, Blitz, what's this one called? Astral Venusian Orchid and Astral Venusian Orchid looks just gorgeous over top of this shade. I don't know why but the two just make such a splendid combination. On my inner corners I'm going to take the Skin Show shade from the Hitopian Dream palette just so I can highlight my inner corners and we're going to keep the rest of the eye look extremely simple. I'm just going to apply the Blitz Aquamarine shade also on my lower lash line and I'm going to put a very similar color in my waterline. I'm using whatever is left on my brush from the Skin Show shade here on my brow bone just for like maximum glow effect. Before I go in with Blitz Aquamarine on my lower lash line, I'm just going to apply the tiniest bit of um, I lost the word Intensifies Wand just so Blitz Aquamarine has something to stick to a little bit better onto my lower lash line I completed the look once again with the shade Spirited Away from Lisa Eldridge. I've really been on a roll with this lipstick I because I love the tone and I love the formula and just everything about this lipstick is sheer perfection. Uh, what is also sheer perfection, pure love at first sight, is this uh, Chanel Le Beige Water Fresh Complexion Tint. I will be using this a lot and you will definitely be seeing this uh, come around quite a bit on my channel because I am in love with it as of now. I will come back and let you know how it worked throughout the day but I really can't imagine that much will happen with it because it has it has such sheer coverage that even if it wears off a little bit it's fine I'm used to that. With that said I think I'm going to conclude this video. Let me know what you thought about this uh, new product from Chanel. Are you going to try it? Um, because obviously it hasn't really come out yet in most countries I, or if by any chance you have already tried it do let me know what you think about it. Don't forget to also let me know what you thought about this look. As usual thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! All right, you guys, it is seven o'clock. I applied the uh, Chanel tint around, I want to say, 8.30. So it's been quite a significant amount of hours. And I feel like... Mm, there's also a lot of sun in my bedroom now, sorry. I feel like it looks pretty decent for the type of product that this is. It definitely wore off around my nose, but that's because my allergies are super bad right now, so I'm constantly touching my nose. Uh, but I think the rest of my face looks pretty fine. Most of my face makeup is still there. There was a little bit of product gathered on my forehead, but that's about it. Nothing unusual, nothing that I don't already have with my usual light coverage foundations. So overall... I'm pretty impressed with this little guy and I'm really enjoying it. So, so far highly recommend. You'll hear about it again probably in like a monthly roundup when I have tested it a bit more, but as a first impression I'm quite enjoying this product.